Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today, I actually wanted to review a type of product that we've never actually reviewed yet on the channel, and that is a third-party Nintendo Switch dock. Now, the one I have here is the Kiwi Home N17 Video Converter Dock, and it was sent to me free by Kiwi Home, but this is not a sponsored video. Basically, Kiwi Home sends me products from time to time to try out, and if I really like the products, well, I decide to do a video on them. And well, today, for the first time ever, we're doing one on a Nintendo Switch dock from a third-party provider. Now, there's a couple of reasons why normally I don't really review Nintendo Switch docks. And the first one is probably one of the most obvious reasons. It's that they're really hard to make an interesting video about. Because other than saying it's a Nintendo Switch dock, it works. It's very rare that someone comes out with groundbreaking features on a Nintendo Switch dock. And the second one is it's always a little worrisome to do videos on third party Nintendo Switch docks because the actual testing I can do to make sure that these docks are safe to use with your Nintendo Switch is rather limited. In the sense that I own three Nintendo Switch systems. I own a pre refresh Nintendo Switch. I own a post refresh Nintendo Switch as well unit and I own a Nintendo Switch Lite. Now, what I can do is I've tested this dock with all three of my switches. I've encountered no issues, but I'm always a little bit hesitant to make sure I can't guarantee beyond any doubt that this will not hurt any of your Nintendo switches out there. And I'm just doing this as part of sort of a disclaimer that I've encountered no issues with any of my Nintendo switches, but everyone has heard stories of third party docks breaking the switch. I do believe that that was something that was actually patched out quietly by Nintendo without telling anyone, but I cannot guarantee beyond a shadow of a doubt that these docks can damage maybe some really early first generation switches. But now, with that out of the way, why am I breaking that rule today and deciding to show you this Kiwi Home Nintendo Switch dock? Well, the reason why is because when I received this dock, I couldn't believe how small it was. So although it doesn't do anything revolutionary, for someone that's on the go and really only wants to bring a Nintendo Switch case with it, this is pretty much the only dock solution that I've ever come by that would actually fit that scenario. And when I say it's small, this is the complete dock and the power brick. There is no power brick or power source that you need other than this dock. So just for comparison's sake, this is the standard Nintendo Switch power brick, just the power brick. After that, you have to attach this to the dock. This is the complete dock in the front with the power brick. It is insane how small it is. Now, there is only one major downside that I found to this dock, and we'll get into that in just a few moments. But just before, so you understand, the only thing you need other than this dock is a USB-C type cable to basically link your dock to your Nintendo Switch unit. And that is actually the second reason why I really love this dock other to some other third party docks is that almost every third party dock you're going to buy out there, you actually need a separate power brick to actually power that dock. Meaning that even if you buy that third party dock, you don't wind up with two functional Nintendo Switch docks unless you buy a second power brick for it. While if you buy the Kiwi Home dock, with just this dock, you actually have two fully functional docks. You have your original one that came with your Switch, and then you have your Kiwi Home dock as a secondary dock. So because of that major reason, I decided that it was worthwhile enough to do a quick video on this dock, just to throw it out there so that you know this is out there, it works, and most likely it won't hurt your Switch. Now as usual, we're just going to do a close up on the product so we can just show you some of the positives and negatives about it. And then we'll just come back to a conclusion. This won't be a very long video because, as I said at the beginning, you know, it's a dock. There isn't that much to talk about. But nonetheless, let's just go through the basics and it'll give you a better view of the product with the close up camera. Now, just before we get to the close up, don't forget that if you do like this content to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. So now as usual, I want to just take a quick look at the box, but I'll be honest, this time there is not much happening here. It is a very simple presentation showing you the dock and the name, the N17 Video Converter Dock. 
At the top, you have the fact that it is compatible with the switch, the voltage and amperage, and the fact that it comes with a four foot USB-C type cable. Other than that, the box is pretty standard fare with simply the contact information for Kiwi Home at the back. Now, once we get inside, this is what you have in the box. You have the dock itself and you have a four foot cable for connecting to your switch. Now, although this will work with any USB-C type cable, as long as it connects fully for data, this USB-C cable actually seems very high quality and it actually has a right angle connector, especially if you're connecting this power brick behind a desk or something, this can really help you out when you're in a tight squeeze. Now, just before we actually move on, I just wanna do one final comparison so that you can really see size-wise how tiny this dock is. Here I have the regular Nintendo Switch power brick once again. And even if you open up the connector here, you can see that this is a lot shorter than the Nintendo Switch connector here. And not only that, it is actually thinner than the Nintendo Switch power brick. It is actually crazy how small this dock is. Now let's take a look at the dock itself. Basically the first and only function on the dock itself is the fact that you can either collapse in or out the power connectors, meaning that when you're traveling, you can make the dock even smaller. Now, the only thing we have left to look at is the basic connectors that are on the dock itself. You have a one USB-C type connector here, which connects to your switch. And you have your HDMI out here that connects to your display or whatever television you want to display your switch image on. But now we get to the only downside on this dock. It's that it only has one standard type A USB connector, meaning that if you're using wired controllers or you're using multiple accessories that you need to charge with this dock, you unfortunately only have one port for charging and any other accessory that you would want to connect wired to it. And that'll be a downside for some people because we, if we look at all the other sides, there are no other connectors. However, at the same time, to trade this for the extremely small size of this dock, I think that what they wanted is to really target an audience that is looking for a secondary dock or simply that wants to travel a lot but needs a solution for connecting their switch to displays. So basically, when you're on the go, this is all you need to set up a connection to a display. You basically will connect your USB Type-C here. You'll plug it into your switch. This will go into a power outlet. And then basically you'll be able to put your HDMI out here to whatever display you're wanting to connect your switch to. But if we look, the whole of the assembly only takes up this dock and one cable. If we're just talking about saving on space, I know of no other better solution than this to basically get a fully functional dock for your switch. So now that we have a better idea of the upsides and downsides of this dock, who is it actually good for? Well, I would say that the primary target audience of this dock is someone who needs a secondary dock or someone who travels a lot and needs an easy to carry solution. Because let's be honest, the primary reason that this dock is so great is because of how small it is. And it's actually one of the only Nintendo Switch docks that will normally fit into a regular Switch case. And as I said earlier, it is one of the only third party docks that automatically comes with a power brick built in, meaning that if someone needs a secondary dock, this is an excellent solution to not have to buy a separate power brick. Now, who is this dock not good for? Well, if you're someone who uses wired controllers, I would say that this is generally not a very good dock unless you always play alone and you're only using one wired controller. But not only that, unless your controller wire is extremely long, normally this thing will be plugged into the wall. You could be sitting very far away from it and have trouble reaching with your wired controller. I would say also that someone who hardwires the internet into their switch using ethernet adapter, this dock can be tricky as well because it occupies your only USB slot. That means you're not charging a wireless controller. You're not doing anything else with your dock at the same time as you're playing. But honestly, as an extremely affordable solution for an on the go or a secondary dock, I think that Kiwi Home has hit a home run with this little product here. And as long as people don't have any problems with their switches, and I really wanna hear from you, if you try this dock and you've had a problem with your switch, let me know in the comments down below so I can adjust this video. But if not, I really, really think that this is an excellent solution for a secondary travel dock. 
So as I said, this wasn't going to be a very long video because other than letting you know what the advantages of this dock are and that they it works fine, at least in my testing, there isn't much more to say about it. Now, as usual, don't forget that if you do like this content to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when all my future videos come out. But if not, I hope I'll catch all of you in my next video.